Hey guys, Ash here. Many of you have been asking us on Twitter and in our YouTube comments how to unlock the Zero Suit Samus and Zelda costumes in Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to do just that. But first, a quick heads up. You won't be able to unlock any of the costumes until you finish the game at least once, so if you haven't done so, go do that first. Because unlocking the costumes is tied to finishing the game with various endings, there will be spoilers ahead, so consider yourself warned. The main character, Yuri, has two endings, and to unlock her Zero Suit Samus costume, you have to see both of them. Thankfully, this is easy to do. To defeat the final boss, you need to perform a fatal glance on it after you've depleted its health. When exactly you do this determines which ending you get for Yuri. To get her good ending, you need to end the fight while you're on the Shadow Spring's surface. For her bad ending, simply finish the fight while underwater instead. Either way, you only have a limited amount of time to perform the fatal glance, but don't worry. The fight will repeat indefinitely and switch between both locations until you successfully glance the final boss. This makes it fairly easy to get whichever ending you want. It takes a bit more work to unlock the Zelda costume for Miu. To dress up as the Princess of Hyrule, you have to see seven of the game's eight endings. Specifically, you need to see both of Yuri's endings, both of Miu's endings, and three of the four endings for Ren. You already know how to get both of Yuri's endings, and thankfully, getting both of Miu's endings is even easier. To get Miu's good ending, just make sure you take at least one picture of Miku while you're following her on Twilight Peak. For her bad ending, simply don't take any pictures of Miku on Twilight Peak. That's all there is to it, and it's very easy to get the outcome you want. As you might expect, Ren's endings are based on which bride he chooses, Osei or Shirogiku. For the Zelda costume, you'll need to see both endings with Osei and one of the endings with Shirogiku. For Osei, choose the photo, and once you regain control of Rin, either take a picture of her or touch her depending on which ending you want. For Shirogiku, choose the lock of hair, and when the fight with her begins, just stand there and let her drag you into the reliquary. And that's it! Once you've seen those seven endings, you will have unlocked not only the Nintendo costumes, but the other costumes and all of the accessories as well. Incidentally, if you want to then go back and see Rin's remaining ending, all you need to do is choose Shirogiku again and then defeat her instead of letting her take you. While doing all of this might sound time-consuming, it's actually not that bad. You get three endings every time you play the final chapter, so as long as you make sure to get the endings you need on each run, you only have to go through the last chapter three times to unlock the Zelda and Zero Suit Samus costumes, and all the other costumes for that matter. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it and hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, keep it on Game Explain for more on Fatal Frame and all things gaming.